What's up guys, it's Spencer with Live Bearded and today I wanna to show you how to fade your sideburns into your beard to go from looking sloppy like this to looking great like this in just a couple minutes. All right, so I know beard trimming is a scary thing. We hear it every single day. Guys are afraid of picking up the scissors, picking up the trimmers and trimming or styling their beard. And I get it, it takes practice and you're probably gonna make mistakes before you get it right. So if you're not gonna trim your own beard, follow this one rule and take care of your sideburns. You see the sideburns grow extremely fast, they're right on your ear, and if they're not taken care of, they can grow pretty wild, pretty fast. So if you're not gonna trim your beard, at the very least, take care of your sideburns, and by fading this or trimming this down, it's gonna dramatically improve the way that your beard looks. It's gonna be much tighter here, much cleaner, even if you're going for a full, long beard, year, whatever it is, by taking care of the sideburns, it's just gonna give your beard a much better put together look. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you how I basically just take care of my sideburns every few weeks, um, and I, I fade them. If you're not familiar with a beard fade or fading in general, the basic idea is to uh, go from smallest to the longest. You're gonna fade from a shorter length on the upper part of the sideburn to a longer length into your beard so that it gradually grows longer, obviously, into the length of your beard. So. Uh, what I do here is basically just take some beard trimmers and uh, you're going to need guards. Most importantly, you're going to need these guards so that you can get the length. Now, when it comes to beard trimming itself, the rest of your beard, if you've seen my other videos, you know I treat it like a hedge and go and attack it from the outside. But for the actual fade, you're going to need these guards. And what you want to do is basically, again, uh, shortest fading into longer. So depending on how short your hair is, my hair is a little bit longer, so I'm not going crazy tight here but I'm gonna be fading it uh, from like a six to a nine to a 12, depending on what kind of trimmers you have, the measurements, maybe colors, maybe uh, numbers, but the idea is to basically just go shortest to longest and fade it into your beard. So let's get started. All right, so before you start trimming anything at all, here's a little tip. Take your guard off of your trimmers and whatever size you think you wanna start with at the longest, kind of through this area, just run it up the sideburn and the way that the trimmers attach, right? They're gonna, they're gonna attach right into the guard. So anything above this line is actually gonna get trimmed off. So before you actually start trimming, what you can do is take your guard and just run it up the sideburn and you can actually see how much hair is gonna be cut off before you actually cut it. So you may think that you're gonna grab a, you know, a six or a nine and you grab the extension here and you, you throw it on there and you see, holy cow, it's gonna cut it way too short. You know, maybe I wanna start with 12. Um, so definitely take the guard first, run it through, do a dry run, see what it looks like before you start trimming and always size up, right? You can always take more off. You can't put it back on. So uh, if you think you're going to go, uh, nine is going to be the length you want, maybe start with 12 and then take it shorter afterwards. I'm going to go with the 12. I've obviously, uh, you know, my hair, like I said, is a little bit longer, so I'm not going to take this super tight, uh, but I'm going to go for a 12. And what I'll actually do is uh, start with the largest size that I'm going to trim with and trim the entire thing down to about the bottom of uh, the ear. And then I personally like to start with the larger number and then work my way up tighter. Um, so I'll start with the 12, kind of work this whole area with the 12 down to the bottom of my ear. Then I'll go with a nine kind of for the middle section and I'll hit a six at the upper. If you have super short hair, you may take that down to a zero. You may take it down to a one or two. Uh, so again, you know, my hair is longer here. I've got length. I don't want to take this too super short and not have it kind of match with my haircut, but uh, so I'll take it down to a six on the top. Uh, I'm going to leave my hat on, kind of keep the hairs pulled back here. All right, here we go. So what I'll basically do is take the, like I said, really just working this thing up. And I'm just fading to about the top of my ear because again, my hair's longer, so I'm gonna keep these hairs a little bit longer. And I'm just gonna essentially trim this area down to about the bottom of my earlobe. So kind of starting down in here. And again, I'm, I'm working with the 12 to start. You can always take it shorter. Just that alone already makes a huge difference. Get some of these crazy ones taken care of.
take the guard off, switch it to a nine. Now this area through here, I'm gonna keep it at 12 and kind of just, again, stagger it. So from nine to 12 to six. Make sure you double check your guard so you don't accidentally grab the three or something. And just begin pulling these hairs back just to kind of the top of the ear. Quick little pass. Kind of clean up right around the ear there. And that literally just took a few seconds from six, nine, 12, kind of gradually gets longer into your beard. Um, it's really straightforward and really that's all, it, that's all it takes, but this being cleaner makes a world of a difference in how your beard looks. It's gonna be a lot tighter and then you can grow your length through your beard. Um, you can continue to fade this. Now, I, like I said, I typically only fade from about my ear, top of my ear to the bottom of my ear. What you can do um, is continue that process and go from a 12 or whatever size you're fading to and then keep stepping it longer down into your cheek. Just don't go too low because you need these kind of cheek hairs to fill out your beard. So be mindful of that. Definitely keep it higher if you're just starting out. Find the sweet spot. Um, that's really it. I mean, literally this only takes a few seconds. You can do this every couple weeks. It's going to make a huge difference in the way that your beard looks. So even if you're not going to trim your beard, um, at least take care of your sideburns. Because again, like I said, it's going to make a huge difference. It only takes a couple minutes and it's pretty easy. So if you have any questions about this, uh, definitely let us know. We have a lifetime warranty, 365 day money back guarantee. Our mission here at Live Bearded is to help beardsmen like you look, feel, and be your best. So please reach out to us anytime at support at livebearded.com and let us know how we can help you. So good luck with the trims out there. Let us know if you need anything. And as always, Live Bearded, brother. <laughs>